The reason that's important because if you can't deliver fuel to your body, nothing works. Think of energy or fuel is the currency in your body. Okay? It's like money. For you to make a new protein, for you to heal from something, for you to detox, all costs money. And the money in your body is energy. If you don't have energy, you can't carry anything out. Okay? So a lot of people go straight for detox. Well, guess what? You can't do that until you do this first. If you have poor fuel delivery, your energy's gonna suck, your brain's gonna suffer, you can't detox, your gut can't heal, nothing works. So that's why you gotta follow this fuel delivery. And the first step here is oxygenation because oxygen is the most important thing in your body, right, to produce energy. You can go, how long can you go without food and still stay alive? If you have everything else. You can go probably a month or two without food and still stay alive. Not very good, but you can still stay alive. How long can you go without water? Three days, okay? How long can you go without oxygen and stay alive? So it's minutes. Blood sugars come from your food. So you can go pretty long without, without food because your body can catabolize your muscle. You can break down muscle, and you also can burn fat for energy. So you can go a long time, but you can't go very long without oxygen. So that's why this is a priority. And a lot of people ignore that priority, and therefore they suffer. They don't do well, and needlessly so, because the doctor never looked at that. 